Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Can It Take a K26, the show where I take a variety of blasters and see if they can be upgraded using a K26 spring. I am your host, Captain Xavier, and today's episode is going to cover two transforming blasters. Not the nifty one that I showed in a recent review video. These are a little bit older. Our first contestant is the Optimus Prime Big Rig Blaster. This blaster was released in 2007 as part of a... A promotional run to promote the Transformers movie. And as I stated, it transforms. So you put your hand in the back of the big rig, and when you flip your wrist up, it transforms into Optimus Prime's hand holding a blaster, which is pretty neat. Uh, you then prime it just by uh, pulling back on the barrel, and it fires. Uh, these did fire old school Mega but I'm sure they could be rebarreled for modern elite or even modern mega if you really felt like it. It then transforms back and it's pretty nifty. This one is missing half of his uh, cab, but uh, still works. So we want to know if this thing can take a K26 and the real question that I'm curious of is how far am I going to have to take this thing apart before I can even get to the spring? And I've got a feeling it's pretty darn far. So let's get started. It's a good thing I have no uh, sentimental attachment to this blaster cuz it's getting kind of thrashed. Well that is a no because of compression. This thing actually has a fairly long draw and compresses this spring 100% uh, and so K26 is roughly the same frequency but uh, more than at least twice as thick a spring, so you're never going to be able to get enough compression. Uh, and I doubt I have any springs that are heavier than this uh, that have either a, uh, a wider frequency or um, are the same wire but stronger. So I'm going to call it a no and uh, desperately attempt to button this thing up, though I, I doubt I will actually be able to ever get it functional again. Well, that's a no for the uh, Optimus Prime Big Rig Blaster for reasons of compression and uh, because it's really hard to get it open and mess around with it. So, on to the next contestant. Representing the Decepticons on Canatica K26, we have the Star Scream Barrel Roll Blaster. This one was also released in 2007 as part of the same promotion. Uh, you also, there was also an area in the back where your hand goes in, but instead of flipping it to open it up, you grab this little lever the wings fold back and down and two barrels show up. You then prime it by pulling on this and it fires both at the same time. Pretty nifty. But we want to know if we can take the K26 and I'm really hoping I don't have to take this one as far apart and it doesn't look like I need to. So this one I have at least slightly higher hopes for a spring upgrade on, if not K26. Alright, well, no for K26 because of compression. However, um, I was able to find what I'm hoping is a suitable upgrade spring from the bin. Uh, no idea what it is, of course, but if we can get this back in here. Well, let's go give it a try. Nope, no difference whatsoever. Still only getting about, uh, what was it? Still only getting about 30 FPS and about 25 feet. So, yeah, these aren't terribly impressive. And they take old school Mega, so, uh, yeah. They're neat, they're a gimmick, but, uh, not much in the way of mod potential, unfortunately. Let's recap. All right, for those of you at home keeping score or who just skipped to the end to see the results, that was a no for the Optimus Prime Big Rig Blaster, and that was a no for the Star Scream Barrel Roll Blaster, though possibly an upgrade if you could find the right spring. I just didn't. 
So, uh, yeah, not a whole lot of mod potential, and they take old school Mega, so, I mean, you could rebarrel them for Elite, but, I mean, you're not going to get great performance out of them. But they're fun if you're into that sort of thing. So, there you have it. Uh, next week will be the uh, second Cat Pirate special. I'll be going over all the weird little blasters he recently sent me, seeing if any of them have any potential. And then we'll get back into the uh, regular episodes. I've got some fun ones lined up that I think you guys will enjoy, so stay tuned, and thank you guys for watching. <laughs>